dear students next protozoan is the aimeria which infects the poultry animals like chickens and birds as well as the cats and the dogs so aimeria which belonging to sub class coccidia of sub phylum sporozoa is a parasite living in the cells of digestive canal of many invertebrates and vertebrates it causes a fatal disease known as the coccidiosis mainly there are nine species of aimeria which have been described that infect the gallus gallus intestinal tract aimeria has many species like aimeria tenella which infects the cecum of chicken then aimeria bovis in the intestine of cats aimeria canis in the small intestine of dog etc two species of aimeria cause heavy losses to the poultry industry in india aimeria tenella which affects the cecca of chicken and causes the cecal coccidiosis so aimeria nutrition is saprozoic it feeds mainly on the dissolved food of the host by absorbing it morphology the adult stage of parasite is known as trophozoite which is smaller and spherical the outermost covering is called pellicle it has small amount of cytoplasm and contains a small single nucleus the nucleus contains a small endosome and the chromatin material being endoparasite aimeria does not contain any mouth gut anus contractile vacuole or locomotory organelles etc then life history of aimeria aimeria is monogenetic that is its life cycle is completed in one host only its life cycle may be studied into asexual phase including cygogony then sexual phase including gamogony and the phase of spore formation that is the sporogony from all these three phases first two phases takes place either in the intestinal wall or in the intestinal lumen the third phase takes place outside the body of the host in the open so this is a structure which is a infective stage known as a oocyst and each oocyst containing the spores which are named as the sporocyst so it is tetrasporic tetra there are four sporocyst and each sporocyst here it contains the two sporozoites you can see that this is a one oocyst containing the four sporocyst and inside the four sporocyst each containing the two sporozoite so this is a structure showing the oocyst and this is the structure which is showing the uh, sporozoid and these are the merozoites so in its life cycle uh, in the chicken the infective stage is the oocyst which releases the sporozoites and then they are taken by the poultry animals and inside the gut cell they undergo the asexual multiplication and will divide and multiply in the gut cell and here they are forming the several merozoites merozoites again forming changing into the trophozoite and this cycles repeated many times but some of the merozoites they will form the gametocytes forming the male gametocytes and female gametocytes which undergoing the process of fertilization and forms the zygote then zygote will secrete the wall and will change into the oocyst now this oocyst will be released to the outside through the fecal matter here and this then swallowed by another bird or another chicken and infecting the another one so again this one completing its life cycle so from the chicken to the outside and from the outside to the next or to the new chicken so this is how the cycle completes so here also you can see the different stages 
so in the gut of the chicken so there are the formation of the many uh, merozoites and these merozoites will change into the male gametocytes and female gametocytes and will form the zygote and then oocyst and released outside and again infecting the new animal or new bird so this is also the diagram showing the different phases in the poultry animal in the chicken so first phase asexual phase is the schizogony second phase is the sexual phase is the gamogony and again there is asexual phase which is the sporogony so schizogony and gamogony these are taking place inside the gut of the in, in of the chicken or the sporogony this is taking place in the environment or the outside so asexual phase of schizogony the infected fowl passes out oocyst and this oocyst will release the sporozoites and these sporozoites undergoing the process of schizogony by multiplying then sporozoites are formed sporozoite is elongated curved microscopic unicellular organism and it's having the pellicle and the contractile vacuole it also contains the golgi bodies mitochondria and endoplasmic reticulum ribosomes lysosomes and the food vacuoles so sporozoites penetrates into the epithelial cells of the host then it will change into trophozoites so trophozoite absorbs the nourishment through its genus surface from the host cell it grows considerably and again undergoing the multiple fission by schizogony so it results into the schizoid and schizoid will form the merozoites so second generation schizogony where again first generation merozoites will form the trophozoites and trophozoites will form the schizoid and which undergo the multiple fission and will form the second generation merozoites so sexual phase of gametogony after several repeated cycles of asexual proliferation some merozoites instead of forming trophozoites enter the fresh intestinal epithelial cells and differentiate to form two kinds of cells called microgametocytes or male gametocytes and macrogametocytes or female gametocytes so a male gametocyte is spherical having clear cytoplasm while the female gametocyte is being shaped having its cytoplasm crowded with darkly standing refractile granules in the lumen of the gut male gamete fertilizes the female gamete to form the zygote and zygote will form the cyst then spore formation phase of sporogony the young oocyst passes to the exterior with the feces the zygote nucleus divides twice to form four ovoid sporoblast the first division of the zygote nucleus is said to be the reductional division some cytoplasm remains unused during division of the zygote nucleus and is called the crystal residue so each sporoblast secretes a chitinous skin cyst the sporocyst consisting of two boat shaped balls joined together longitudinally the oocyst is known as tetrasporous because it contains four sporocyst here also some cytoplasm of each sporoblast divides of four to form two sporozoites within the sporocyst so the oocyst containing four sporocysts and each sporocyst having two sporozoites become infective for the host if the oocyst is swallowed by another bird the cyst wall are dissolved and the walls of sporocyst split open and eight sporozoites escape and they penetrate the epithelial cells of the intestine and start multiplication by schizogony again the phase is repeated so during the life cycle of imeria the schizogonic and sporogonic phases comprises the asexual generation on the other hand gamogony represents the sexual generation as it involves the formation of male and female gametes so the asexual generation is always followed by the sexual generation so phenomena 
in which the sexual and asexual generations alternate with each other regularly is called the alternation of generation so schizogony and sporogony is asexual and gamogony is the sexual phase so this is the uh, broilers and breeders of chicken showing the infective intestine so pathogenesis as imeria tenella causes the coccidiosis to chicken so symptoms of the disease include bloody droopings pale face and shanks bloody vent and enlarged cecca distended with blood or yellowish gray cheese like series in advanced stages the infected birds show restlessness drooping wings shuffled feathers and unsteady gait prevention infection of chickens may be prevented through proper hygienic conditions floor of the poultry houses and yards must be cleaned regularly and all equipments used for the purpose of birds rearing should also be cleaned and hot lye solution can be used for cleaning so this is all about the imeria species you have to prepare the notes about the different species and then morphology then its life cycle pathogenicity and prevention thanks